A grandmother is heartbroken after her classic Corvette is stolen right from her driveway in the middle of the night. The collector car is more than a possession to her. It is a reminder of her late husband and the happy times they share together. Now police are searching for the suspect caught on a neighbor's home surveillance camera. Mary Beth McDade live in Glendora with the story. MB. Yeah, Mike and Tara, this grandmother says that this Corvette is more than just a car to her. It symbolizes the 47 years of marital bliss with her husband, and she's just hoping to somehow, some way, get the vet back. Watch as a suspected thief takes off in a Glendora grandmother's Corvette which to her wasn't just a car, but a token of true love. It's really hard because it's really connected with my husband who died in September. To understand this, let's start at the beginning, when Patty first fell for Corvettes as a teen. My sister, who's three years older than I, and she was dating a guy that had a Corvette. I said, wow, that's what I want. I said, I don't want the guy, I want the car. Eventually, though, she fell for the man of her dreams, her husband, Ron. And when the kids were grown, he got to fulfill one of his wife's wishes. In 1984, he surprised her at LAX as she returned home from a research trip. We walked to the car and he said, look, there's a new Corvette, just kind of like what you want. She says he then dangled the keys in front of her and told her to hop in. And I walked around it squealing, I'm sure, <laughs> right? And, um, and then when I got in it to drive it home, I don't think I went over 30 miles an hour. The two lovebirds would go on to lease several Corvettes. And then in 2001, they bought this silver beauty. They decided they would keep it for a lifetime. And whoever died first, the other would drive their ashes in it to Riverside National Cemetery. And that's what we did for him. Don't know what we'll do for me. The plan was then for one day when she passed for one of her children to drive her ashes in the same car to join her husband of 47 years. Talk about um, finding your soulmate. So you can only imagine how much Patty's heart sank Wednesday morning when she realized the vet was stolen from her driveway. She just hopes somehow she can get it back and fulfill her final wish. The policeman said to me, he said, if, if they recovered the car and the person, would you prosecute him? And I thought, yes, I would. <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> he took a part of my heart. Mm. And we should also mention that Patty happens to be the grandmother of one of our coworkers. We should also mention that one of Patty's neighbor's cars was also targeted. And we spoke to that neighbor, and that neighbor says that her purse was stolen out of the car. And then a short time later, the thief began using her credit cards to spend thousands of dollars at a Ralph's in Pasadena, two gas stations, and to make some online purchases.